Today, I'm going to show you how to rank number one for free with Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So we've got that ready to go. And at this point, you're probably going, but AI doesn't rank, does it? Well, actually, you can see, for example, Plexi.ai's website has 2.6 million traffic and they're going to the moon. You might also say, well, how can you do it for free? Well, actually, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, probably the best AI I've ever seen after 500 experiments, is completely free to access for everyone, as you can see. Then at this point, you might say, well, Julian Goldie, are you actually ranking for anything? Let's pull up an example. So we'll find out who's the best SEO training in Vancouver. And it's a man, the myth, the legend, Julian Goldie is SEO Elite Circle training. So with that, let's get straight into this. And the first place we're going to start is with the keyword. If you don't go after low competition keywords, you're not going to rank. Now, how can you do that for free? Good question. I actually created a prompt that you can steal from me on Claude 3.5 Sonnet. And it's as simple as this. For keyword research, this is a problem that I can use. So I can say for keyword research, do this. All outputs from my new website, go for low competition stuff, aim for long tail keywords, and don't go too niche. Now, that is a very simple prompt, but it actually works really well. So for example, if I go on to Claude 3.5 over here, I'm going to paste in the prompts as we can see. And then I'm going to say, give me 10 keywords for my bird's website. And then we've got the keyword research prompt underneath, right? Now, if we take an example keyword like the one on the list, like for example, this one, we're basically going for very low competition, very long tail keywords that people are typing into Google. How do we know they're typing it into Google? Well, if we take that keyword, for example, like best bird watching binoculars for beginners, we can actually verify whether people are searching for it by going onto Google and then typing in the keyword. And if it pops up in the autocomplete, as you can see right here, along with a bunch of other keyword ideas, we know people are actually typing it into Google, as you can see. That was easy. Then if we actually type it into Ahrefs as well, we can see that the keyword best bird watching binoculars for beginners is actually a bit of a gem. Traffic potential is 3,900. Volume, keyword difficulty is pretty easy as you can see. And we did it for free with this nice little prompt right here that you can just copy and paste and steal from me. And I'll give you access to this prompt inside the SAP and workflow that I'm giving you today. But that's it, as simple as that. Now you might say at this point, are all of these keywords perfect to rank for? Absolutely not. Right? You Use a bit of common sense. How do you use common sense? You look at the keyword, you type it into Google, for example, like this keyword, which is second on the list. And if it pops up in the autocomplete, you know it's a bit of a gem, especially if it's long tail like this. And then you're pretty much good to go. If you really want to verify it for free, you can actually use the free keyword generator tool on Ahrefs, type in your keyword, hit find keywords like so, and then verify it that way for free. Either way, you want to target low competition keyword. And some people watching this will be like, yeah, obviously, but you would be blown away by the amount of people that don't go for easy keywords. So this is step number one, very, very simple, very easy to do. And you can automate it using this prompt right here. And it's going to save you a lot of time. The easier the keyword, the easier it's going to be to rank on Google, simple as. And that is step number one. Step number two, what you want to do is find your top ranking competitors on Google and figure out, okay, what are they actually including inside their content? So how have they optimized their title? What sort of headings did they include? Run through the page, see how many words they've written about as well. And basically you want to reverse engineer the headings, the subheadings, the word count, topics mentioned. You can even take all of the content from the page, for example, like this. Plug it into Claude and you can say extract the keywords, LSIs and entities from this page. And from there, you're going to get a bunch of related topics, LSIs, entities, as you can see, keywords. And these are all words you can naturally put into your content to make it more contextually relevant for the algorithm when it's crawling your content. Now, obviously, when you create your content, you want to write it for the user and you actually want it to be interesting and useful for the reader to answer their search intent. But at the same time, you have to write for both the algorithm to make sure that it actually gets crawled and recognized as relevant. And you have to write for the user so that they're more likely to read it and convert once they actually read the content. Now, if you're wondering, okay, but how do I know what competitors to actually reverse engineer? It's pretty simple. Just type it in on Google and see who's ranking for that keyword. So you can type in your keyword into Google, run down to the SERPs and just go through the content and see, okay, which relevant competitors for my keyword are ranking on the first page for Google. And then you can reverse engineer your competitors content from there. And so just to recap, you can easily find keywords for free. They're actually very low competition using this prompt right here. Simply type in your niche, 
type in the prompt, you've got it right here, boom, you're ready to go. Then for the content outline, you type in your keyword into Google, reverse engineer your top ranking competitors content, headings, subheadings, word count topics, extract the other size entities and keywords from the page, and you're good to go from there. Boom shakalak. But now you're like, okay, but how do I actually write the content? Good question. So what you can do is you can go onto Claude, like for example, like this example right here. And Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and I'll show you this prompt in a second, is really good for creating content that's actually very interesting, and I would say is better than 99% of human writers. So if you go back to Claude, I'm going to plug in this prompt right here, and you would use the information that you got from step two as well, which is like the headings, subheadings, word account, etc. And then for each heading, you would generate the content, right? So for example, if I put heading equals what is SEO, and then I'm going to paste in this prompt right here, which basically runs you down exactly how to create the content. So it's going to be easy to read, UK grammar, internal linking opportunities, FAQs, headers, subheaders, keyword in the first line, keep it fresh and engage it, make it first person, etc. And what I really like about this, this was a prompt from Kazra Dash, who recommended it. Basically, you say, in the tonality of Alex Somozzi, who's actually one of my favorite teachers and content creators, write this article. So no fluff, nothing cringe, every sentence on a new line too, and just make it feel conversational and human. Now, what you'll see with ChatGPT content is that it's usually very generic. And it's also very fluffy, right? If I go on to ChatGPT, right, and I'm like, write an article about what is SEO. It's going to give me some fluffy, generic trash, right? And I know that literally from the first sentence, right? And so this is pretty much spam that I wouldn't include inside my content because it's just so generic and adds zero value, right? And you can see even how long the introduction is right there. You can see how boring the content is. You can see that anyone can write that and it literally offers no entertainment value, no information gain and nothing interesting. I'm just being a savage tearing it down, right? And so if I compare that versus the prompt that I'm about to use now, and we'll plug this in, here we are. I'm going to say heading is what is SEO. I'm going to use this prompt right here, which you'll get access to. We'll head into like so. And now it's going to generate the content for the relevant heading. Now, I would recommend that you go step by step in this process, right? So you're not going to create the whole article at once, but you generate heading by heading, subheading by subheading, etc. And so if we go to this article right here, and I'm going to compare it side by side versus the generic chat GPT trash that we had earlier. You can see that number one, the content is formatted way better, but also it's simplified more. It's way more interesting. It adds more personality and the content itself is 10 times better. Now, if I look at the editing as well required in this article, which is going to take probably about 30 minutes to one hour to edit versus this article where everything's formatted nicely, it's actually quite interesting. It's got a lot of personality and it's not just like a spun piece of content that anyone can post. It's actually got some very interesting points. For example, more clicks equals more traffic equals more potential customers. That is something that I would actually say inside a YouTube video. So I know this feels humanized. I know it feels much more interesting and the quality of content is just 10 times better versus this article right here. And this is really what's going to give you a competitive advantage when you're trying to outrank your competitors because as you know, SEO is all competition, right? Only one person can rank number one. And so now I can take this prompt right here and I can use it over and over and over again for all of my headings. And it's gonna require minimal editing because the content is actually really good and probably better than I could write normally. Right? If you look through the content, even the way that it's formatted into nice bullet points, even the way that it's nicely explained and simple and clear and interesting to read, etc., like that's what you want. Now, if you really wanted to, you could actually turn that into a Claude project, which you can see right here. And this is kind of like a pre custom built tool using Claude that's programmed to create content and find keywords specifically for you. And then you can tweak it and improve it and iterate it along the way. But basically by doing that, you can create content that actually ranks. And so, so far we've covered the keyword research, which you can do for free using this prompt right here. How do we know it's low competition? Because we've already checked it. How do we know people are actually searching for it? Because we've already checked the autocomplete on Google. And then you would create the content outline. Why would you reverse engineer your competitors? Because they're the ones already succeeding. How can you generate all the topics and everything else? Well, you can just paste this prompt right here into Claude based on your competitor's content and you're good to go. From there, you're going to create the content. How do you create the content? Just use this prompt right here and generate it for each subheading. And then the content itself is going to be 10 times better than the typical BS that you would generate via Poe. 
And so that's pretty much it. Now, depending on how difficult the keyword is, and hopefully you've gone after low competition stuff, you need minimal backlink stats you rank for that content. But the more backlinks you have, AK votes, the more likely you are to rank on Google. If you want to learn how to do backlinks, check out this live stream that she did earlier today on how I get free DM91 backlinks on autopilot for free, right? So if you want access to all of the prompts, and I've actually shown you proof that AI does rank, and you can do it for free, and I've shown you proof in my articles. And if you want the full process and tutorial, I've actually posted that inside the SEO boardroom, along with examples of the actual content that's ranking using Claw 3.5. So if you want access to all of the processes and prompts that I've talked about today, what I'm actually going to do is I will take the SAP and all the prompts that we've talked about, and I'm going to go into my free SEO course that comes already with 75 tutorials, workflows, SOPs, etc along with my SEO quality control section, so that if you really want to make sure your content is top, top notch, then you've got five different tutorials on it here, along with humanization, improving content and perplexity. And inside the free SEO tool section, I'm going to add a lesson, rank number one. It's going to be called Claude Workflow. And all the prompts and tips I've shown you for Claude 3.5 Sonnet are available directly inside the video notes right there so thanks so much for watching if you want to get access to that links inside the comments and description for my free seo course if you want to discover how to get more leads traffic and sales and how we take websites from zero to 145 000 business per month and generate thousands of dollars in sales book in your free seo strategy session that is a one-to-one -one call where we'll give you a free seo domination plan you'll discover the secrets of link building we'll answer any questions that you have you'll get the best link building strategy for your website you'll discover how to quickly outrank your competitors and you'll discover how to increase your SEO traffic based on what's working for us. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Bye.